Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about ventilation example problem. All right, so let's get into it. So in the previous video, we were talking about how they do the ventilation calculation. So just as a recap, I'm just going to pull this to the side. So we were doing our rights of calculation and then we found out that our central ventilation was gonna be 84 CFM for heating and cooling, see? So how did they come up with this 84 CFM, all right? So when we're talking about ventilation, we need to consider two things. Is this ventilation gonna be continuous or intermittent? And what is ASHRAE 62.1, 62.2, 2013, okay? So we obtained this a standard from code in based on the location right okay so basically ASHRAE 62.2-2013 establishes that in order to provide ventilation but this is not only whichever ventilation this is a whole building ventilation the formula is right here okay so let's start with that so they call it Q total right in my other videos, I call it outside there just for simplicity, okay? So this Q total is going to be equal to 0 0.03, okay? Area plus 7.5 of number of bedrooms, number of bedrooms plus one, okay? Okay, so if you want to sound very interesting in here, so this is going to be like 7.5 right that's that would be the rate and then 0 0.03 so i made another video on this however remember i'm gonna put this in another color let's put it in green so this is continuous okay continuous ventilation okay remember that because uh, usually even i didn't understand this very well when it was continuous or intermittent so there are two continuous yes this formula works for cost continuous ventilation for intermittent it's going to be different okay so let's do this calculation very quickly so in here what we're going to have is a q q equals to what is our area but which area is this the conditioned area so uh, you're going to have already that value. Usually the architect provides that value or in the drawings you're going to be able to find that. But in Writesoft, for example, you're going to be able to find that in the worksheet in entire house. It says room area 1793.8 square feet. Okay, 1793.8. Let's put it here. Okay, 17.3. Okay, so we're going to put 0 0.03 times... Uh, let's gonna we're gonna put in here 17 93 right 0.8 square feet plus 7.1 and the number of bedrooms was three right one owner's bedroom bedroom one and bedroom two just so that way we have a better sense of this from the other video we had this kind of configuration room layout right one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom Two bedrooms and one main bedroom so three bedrooms right okay so three bedrooms so we're gonna put in here three bedrooms plus one there we go and then we're gonna be able to find the q which is outside there is required so how much that does does that give us okay i'm making the calculations you do this you do that okay there we go we're gonna get a total of 84 cfm okay cfm okay see there we go okay there we go okay so by code by code for that the welding unit you require at least 84 cfm of continuous ventilation but whenever i'm saying by code it doesn't mean this by code ashray 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 62.2 2013 okay 2013 no, it doesn't mean that. By code means by IMC, right? IMC 2015. Why? Because based on the location, this is located in Washington, D.C. And please forgive my redundancy, but I'm, I'm indicating 
that this is very important how to establish this so based on the question washington dc code is international mechanical code 2015 which is referenced by array 62.2 2013 standard and that's how we obtain uh, 84 cfm and this is going to be continuous ventilation however however if we want to be practical in the field usually this doesn't happen because what, so this indicates, okay, well, let's make a, a small drawing in here in pink, right? So if you have a house in here, right here, okay, this is a townhome, for example, okay? So this is great, okay, this is great, okay, so we have one, two stories, three stories, right? Okay, three stories right here, okay, there we go, right? So that means that you need to provide C84 CFM continuously, like all the time all the time right that means continuous ventilation so that doesn't happen actually that you're running your fan all the time because what how are you gonna bring outside air you need mechanical ventilation so you need to put a fan a supply fan erb or whichever so you need to be running it all the time and that's not energy efficient so technically this is a reference value see continuous ventilation where i've seen continuous ventilation i've seen a lot of continuous exhaust what does that mean continuous exhaust means like if you have toilets if you have in a building in a very big residential buildings um for example if you have a building like this right so there you go a building and this has like one two three four five six stories so we're gonna put in here um so this has a bathroom in here so we let's put another color so you have a bathroom here for example a stack bathroom bathroom male female bathroom male female male female male female male female and those are the restrooms right so what i'm seeing is like in here in exhaust rates we put a fan we put a chase and then we exhaust this completely to the roof to the roof like this at each level there we go we're exhausting 50 cfm based on our rate and then on the top you're going to be able to have a fan you see there you go a nap blast fan see and this is exhausting <laughs> actually this is not straight right okay so this is a fan and this is exhausting continuously so it's going to be 50 cfm for example one two three four five so that's going to be five times 50 say for example 300 cfm continuously continuously okay so i've seen in those cases what, where they have continuous um you know exhaust which is kind of venting the toilets or female male toilets and bathrooms but in for ventilation when you're introducing cfm when you're introducing outside air so we're gonna put in here introducing ventilation so ventilation and this is exhaust exhaust that's just an example exhaust so for ventilation they usually don't run all the time so for that in practice in the practical field they usually go for intermittent ventilation so we're gonna put intermittent intermittent ventilation ventilation all right so how does that work so if you take a look if you want to dip a little bit uh if you want to go deeper on this guideline which is average 62.2 2013 there is also 2016 2019 so you can obtain this information online for free i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave the link on the description below because you just put ashray 62.62.2 .62 2013 and you're gonna be able to find the whole standard see in here we're gonna i'm gonna make this a smaller where is it a smaller right there you go See, it says ASHRAE standard 62.2 2013 ventilation and acceptable indoor quality for low rise buildings residential, right? If you go here and I, and again, this is not protected. I just went online in Google. I put ASHRAE 2013 PDF and that's what I'm using, which is amazing, right? Okay, so in here what you have, let's go deep a little bit 
in here. So you have in section number four, I'm gonna just make this a little bit bigger. There we go. It says, number four, it says whole building ventilation. For whole building ventilation right here, it indicates that the ventilation rate of a mechanical exhaust system, supply system, or combination of the dwelling unit to provide continuous, remember, continuous whole building ventilation with the minimum, this means the minimum CFM, okay? As you can see, what is the minimum CFM? Is this formula right here, right? Total ventilation rate is gonna be total of, see, 0.03, the area of the conditional space, 7.5, uh, number of bedrooms plus one. This is in English and pounded, English units. But if you are outside of the United States, you're gonna use the order formula, which is in international uh, units, right? See, with liters per second, meters squared. Okay, but remember, we said about, and again, redundancy, right? Redundancy, continuous ventilation, but we want to do intermittent ventilation. So in here it says an exception, an intermittently operating whole building mechanical ventilation system shall be permitted if, there we go, if ventilation rate complies with section 4.5. Well, you're gonna be able, to, and the system shall be designed for automatic operation. Honestly, to make, to make things easier, the only thing you need to do is you calculate your minimum ventilation rate, you contact the representative, April Air, Brown, Panasonic, there is so many, and they will be able to say, okay, we, we're gonna give you this fan that complies with the minimum ventilation rate, and that fan is intermittent, and we're gonna put a wall switch, which will enable to do every hour, it will run 20 minutes to comply with this ventilation. So they will take care of the physics, all the calculations, that's fine. If you just need this value, right? Otherwise, if you wanna go deeper, then go to where they say, the uh, where the standard says 4.5 is right here. So if we go a little bit lower, lower and lower in here. 4.5, it says intermittent mechanical ventilation, whole building mechanical system designed to provide intermittent ventilation shall comply with this section. Okay, in here you can read a little bit more, right here, see, 4.5, right here, 4.5 with this section. Okay, uh, yeah, 4.5. 4.5.1 intermittent ventilation when mechanical ventilation is provided at least once every three hours by a system of one or more fans the intermittent mechanical ventilation shall be calculated as the larger of the time average supply or exhaust airflow rates and shall not be less than specified in section 4.1 so see you have a lot of reading in here you have a table in here so Usually, what we, if you want to go deeper, you can analyze this table, but if you don't want to go deeper, you need to do the design. You just provide with the minimum vent air ventilation, uh, ventilation that requires code, and then you talk to the representative to give you, to provide you with the exhaust, with the ventilation fan or ventilation strategy. They will even tell you, do you want maybe supply only? Do you want ERV? Do you want HRV? Of course, ERV is going to be the best option, but sometimes uh, if you're building a lot of houses, that's uh, uh, sometimes it's very expensive, right? Okay, so pretty much that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave any comment, because if whenever you leave any comment that I learn, and you, all, you, you guys also learn, everyone. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.